All right, of course, we've been dealing with some strong weather moving in and throughout the Northeast. And I really think a lot of the uh, newspaper headlines coming in and throughout the uh, New York City area really paints the picture for many of you who may, who may not live here what a big story it is. I mean, we've had a lot of things going on in the New York City area. But of course, weather tops of the daily news. Big headline here, Twister, tornado hits Bay Ridge and rains also swamp the city. You can see in some of these pictures as well as you've seen on our website, the roofs were torn off in the homes in some cases. And this just wasn't an F0 or an F1 tornado, which is uh, what has generally happened in the New York City area over the past 15 years or so. This was rated an F2 on the new enhanced Fujita scale. Now the other headline here on the New York Post, uh, Twister again, I mean you can't, you can't vary off of that headline too far. Uh, but first tornado in 118 years, hitting Brooklyn, as you can see there, and uh, kind of made it funny down here. This ain't Kansas. Of course, it's not Kansas, but it, you know, even you know, them making a little bit of light here on the front page, it does go, go to show you that the weather can, can uh, be volatile and can, can erupt as quick as we saw um, on our Wednesday just about anywhere on the map if you get the right conditions happening. Now, as we fold into the second page here, uh, I mean, you can see this wasn't just a roofs ripped off of homes. We had uh, complete foundations in some cases uh, where the homes were shaken off. And this was a tornado that had multiple touchdowns. And I think one of the, the most complicated thing for the meteorologists in the morning that were following this is it was uh, a very rain-wrapped tornado. And when you have that happen, you don't always have that signature that we, we see on the Doppler radar when we think a tornado may be moving in. There was some warning, but certainly um, it can only be minutes in some cases, and that's what it was in Brooklyn now. Well, I'm just the paper there, but uh, as we go into the uh, second line of this of this paper here, you can see again another headline in here, uh, basically saying Brooklyn was tornado alley on Wednesday as that uh, twister ripped through. And uh, uh, you know, we often talk about the damage, but uh, you can see it, of course, affecting people living on the streets. It's evident in this picture here, as uh, this woman obviously looking through the damage that's been done to her street. All right, so uh, of course this topping the headlines not only here in New York but uh, all across the nation because it's so rare to get that strong of a tornado here in New York. And speaking of tornadoes, just want to take you over here. Now we're into a next day and a new area of concern. We're following some tornadic activity in Pittsburgh. So it's time for me to get back to work, but uh, I thought I'd share a little bit there from the uh, Daily News and the New York Post. See you in the next vlog.